and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I love to make things with joy, sewing things, baking things, soaping things, but this channel is about my sewing adventures. If you're interested in this kind of content, please like, subscribe, and share. So this is my hashtag Friday Sews video. This is a um, arena where you can share what you were working on for the week. So even though it's Saturday, I missed Friday, busy, I'll tell you about it later. Um, I wanted to show you what I'd been up to this week. The Friday Sews hashtag um, so creator group that's over on Facebook, go check them out, is an arena where you can post about what you've been working on for the week. I like it, helps with accountability, help me keep pace with what I'm working on. And as a former teacher, I love a red folder going home telling me everything I worked on this week. Now this group is moderated by Jenny Wessner, or Weissner, I believe, IE, I think it's Weissner. Um, and the topic for this week is, what's the favorite thing you like to cook? Which I think is great because we're into, so, uh, creators are into so many different things. Hmm, what's my favorite thing I like to cook? Well, actually my favorite things that I like to make are cakes, but I've had to give that up. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on to garlic shrimp. I love to make a garlic shrimp and mashed potato dish. Um, it's my favorite, it's my go-to, and I always serve it to guests when they're in town. Now it was a very busy week, which is why I'm on Saturday instead of Sunday. I usually wrap up my stuff by Thursday, but I've had a few challenges this week. I had a, my lovely cousin Tamara, hi Tamara, came to visit and we caught up and laughed and joked and talked about family uh, secrets and stories and I had a wonderful time. And I felt that that was a good thing to be working on. Um, I continue to care for my dad. And I also, I can already feel Sarah's almost ready to leave. My daughter stays with me for a certain part of the year to help me out and also to help her out, have some downtime. And this week we put up two ceiling fans and installed the garage door opener. Mind blowing stuff to do. I, I've done it before, but it's so nice to have help. So that's kind of why I was late. I know it's not an excuse teach, but this is kind of the reason why I was late. So as you know, with Sarah leaving, I spent a majority of the week <clears throat> revamping the Sarah challenge. Um, as I told you before, I felt it reflected a fall. It's not that I wasn't happy with the capsule. I was more than happy with the capsule, but I felt I'd like to do it in another color palette with another emphasis. So this is what I worked on this First week. First of all, I changed the palette from those warm colors to these cool colors. My daughter's a big fan of tie-dye. So I found this extremely thin uh, knit, jersey knit. No, I don't think it's a jersey knit. Almost feels like an ITY. Stretches in all kinds of directions. And I use this as the basis. So this is, McCall's 4312, it is out of print. It is a Nancy, um, it's a Nancy Zeman um, outfit. It is an athletic or leisure wear pattern. And I started with this top right here. I opted not to do the hoodie um, because I've done the hoodie on another um, dress that you're gonna see in the, in the future. I doubled the front because I felt like when you when I doubled the front, it kind of gave it a shapewear aspect to it. So this is the first thing. It's not quite finished. Needs a few accent buttons right here, but I do love the color palette. And this is the direction I went in. So I can, decided to continue in an athletic wear capsule. She wanted five pieces reversible if possible and so that she could get 10 looks or infinite amount of looks with a few t-shirts a few camisoles all that can fit inside her carry-on bag so i love this pattern from mccall's it is mccall's 8244 it included a athletic top with a hoodie um, a kind of a short sleeve um, top and these beautiful 
um, leggings, which I can heartily recommend. Let me kind of give you a look at the line drawings. It is color blocked, right? And the leggings, see that band right there? Wonderful on a tummy, wonderful. So I made this, these leggings with this athletic wear that I found at Ping's. It is um, a fabric that I have seen all over the place and including in America made into bomber jackets, made into, oh, I wish I had some left, made into bomber jackets, made into zip up hoodies, made into bicycle shorts, leggings, skirts. I've seen it everywhere, but it's usually done single layer. And I always felt in a single layer when it was on the body, it felt a little bit, not thin, but like real good athletic wear supports you on the inside. So I made this reversible. So it is gray on one side and it is this deep blue on the other side. All right. So these were really cute. When I show you Sarah's challenge part two, she'll wear them for you and you'll get to see how cute they are on her. Plus, they really hold in her thighs and her belly and to help her when she's working out and working. Now, I don't want to be confusing. I also made them in this caramel scuba that goes with the other um, uh, capsule that I made for Sarah. Super easy to make two pattern pieces, one leg piece and one waistband. The legging piece um, has a scoop at either end. You sew it down the inseam, turn it and flip it inside out, slide one leg inside of the other leg, sew along the groin line, add the, um, the waistband. Bob's your uncle, you've got a great pair of leggings. Wholeheartedly recommend this pattern. Now, out of all the things I made this week, this top gave me the most problems. I don't know if it was late at night, I don't know what my problem was, but I sewed this color block top together all kinds of ways, okay? So this is what it looks like. I included the colors in now, I'm not exactly sold on this blue here. I might take it out if I can find some more of this blue is what I was looking for, but I am out. I used it all up. If I can find some more at Ping's, I will replace this bottom or I'll do this pattern again. Let's just say that I'll do this pattern again because I can see the mistake. I won't point it out to you, but I think this is a first uh, it's a first start. I think I'll finish it for her, but it's not right. Sometimes that happens. And my Friday night sewing group and I were laughing because I must have taken it apart three times. Of all the things I made, it was the simplest, but I, I, I guess amphipathic things pattern. The fabric has a de definitive side, a pucker side and a smooth side. And how I laid it out and cut it, the, it was a whole thing. <laughs> now, once again, as a part of this capsule, I did the skirt double-sided so she could wear it with everything. Um, and I used my Sew House 7 pattern. If I could figure out when I did my um, cosmic um, skirt pattern here, I shortened it because she'll be walking quite a bit. And I love how it sets on the body and um, when you, it's substantial. And so I really, I'm really pleased with how the skirt came out. I tracked it down, y'all. This is the pattern envelope for So House 7 Cosmic Skirt here, Cosmos, sweat, Cosmos Sweatshirt. And here are the line drawings. I have also made this set very comfortable, very stylish. Don't have it. It left with Sarah the last time. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's talk about the very last one. I am so sorry. This is a pattern I use, Vogue 8806. I looked at my sportswear section of envelopes, 
can't find it. I'm thinking it might be, I think I know where it is. I think it's in my, in my dresses. I'll be right back. Whew. I found it. Here's Vogue, very easy, very Vogue, 8806. You can color block it or you can have it as a single, co single color. Now this piece is still under construction, which is a wonderful thing about sewing. You can put something together and go, that's not it. <laughs> I made view A because I thought it would be really, really nice to have as a um, either a cover up or as a sporty dress. So I made it reversible with the light blue on one side and this beautiful dark blue uh, tie-dye, um, same athletic wear fabric on the outside. Like I said, when, when I doubled it, it made the uh, under one as a shapewear and then the outer um, part of the uh, garment shows to the world. Not happy with that zipper. The white is just too crazy. So I went through my zipper box and I found this, which is absolutely perfect because Sarah's not scared of a little bling. <laughs> so I'm going to take this zipper out and put this one in. And because it's so long, it can be, it's, it can, it's a separating zipper and um, I, it can make it also a coat or a jacket for those cold Portland mornings, but it also can make it be a dress as well. So I'm gonna change this out and you'll see the final product when she models all of these. So last Friday, I also worked on something for myself and that is Simplicity 9756. I'm going on a trip with my returning residency group to Negrove, a day trip, a day trip. So I've got coverage at home and I wanted to wear something cool and fluttery. And so, oh, sorry, upside down. All right, but it's 9656. I made the cover up top and the pull on pants in this beautiful chalet that I got from uh, Fabric Mart. I have not chosen the buttons yet, but you see how fluttery it is. It has a nice pleat in the back and a curved hem and cuffs. Oh, and then it is a triple um, elastic drawstring with a pull tie, pull in the front in the pants. So I have a sparkly or I have a camisole dark blue that I think will go with this. I think the I think the bralette is beautiful. But um I don't think it's for me. I could be wrong. There might be another day where I will try it. But I'm out of this fabric. I'll have to do it in something maybe like in a scuba or a really stable knit. Um, like an athletic wear thing, I would give it a try because I do need the support. All right, guys, so that's it for this week. Um, I think I have a little bit of a haul. I'm going to include this, um, include it after this clip. And it's been a fun week. I am finding that things are kind of returning to normal where I'm sewing early morning. You may have seen the sun come up behind me here in Jamaica. And so... Um, by nine o'clock, I'm downstairs and in my in my world. But there's plenty of time to do handwork and when I'm sitting with my dad and stuff like that. So having a good week was I had company. We had success installing things in the house, and I'm already sad that Sarah's going and we're on the countdown. But other than that, things are going to be okay. So happy, or so yourself happy, and we'll see you next week.